islands, the isolated fragments of land amidst boundless seas, each a unique world teeming with life, crafted from fire and rock, molded by the relentless forces of earth and water. They serve as a cradle for some of the most remarkable species our planet nurtures. From the tiniest of insects to the grandest of mammals, they have charted an independent path of evolution, painting a diverse tapestry of life as varied as the islands themselves. As we embark on our journey to these isolated havens, we'll delve into their fiery birth, explore the unique inhabitants they shelter, and uncover the trials they face in our ever-changing world. Join us on this odyssey as we explore the wonders of our blue marble. Welcome to Earth's Living Odyssey, Episode 3, The Island Oasis. In the intricate choreography of Earth's evolution, there is perhaps no act more dramatic than the birth of an island. This spectacle begins deep beneath the ocean's surface, in the fiery heart of our planet. It's here where tectonic plates dance in a slow, relentless ballet that the stage is set for a remarkable transformation. An eruption unfurls nature's raw might. Molten rock surging into the ocean's cold embrace, fashioning new land amid a mist of steam and ash. As the lava flows meet the sea, they cool rapidly, solidifying into rock and gradually building the foundation of a new island. Every eruption contributes another stratum to this fledgling landscape meticulously sculpting a sanctuary amid an endless aquatic canvas. With every sprout breaking through the rocky earth, and every bird declaring this island its home, the opening chords of an ecological symphony resound setting the stage for a lush tapestry of life soon to be revealed. Above, the sky often mirrors the drama below, as volcanic clouds of ash and steam paint the atmosphere with hues of menace and awe. These volcanic eruptions do more than sculpt new landscapes. They liberate a blend of geothermal minerals from Earth's mantle, invigorating the neighboring ocean waters and nourishing marine ecosystems. In some instances, these volcanic islands host geothermal marvels, such as hot springs and fumaroles, small hissing vents in the Earth's crust. Over time, the island matures beyond merely a new landmass, blossoming into a complex, evolving habitat. It serves as a living theatre where every participant, from the humble insect to the towering palm, plays a critical role in the ever-unfolding narrative of life. Amidst these evolving landscapes, an array of unique birds find refuge. These islands, bathed in the gentle embrace of sun and sea, are sanctuaries to an astonishing diversity of avian life. Here, against a backdrop of lush greenery and azure waters, nature has orchestrated a symphony of winged wonders.
As their melodious calls resonate across the skies, a distinct chord strikes. A magnificent frigate bird enters the scene. The sky above the pristine waters opens its embrace to a marvel of nature. Known for their distinctive red throat pouch, male frigate birds inflate this vibrant balloon during the breeding season. A spectacle aimed at captivating the attention of females. While the females, devoid of this flamboyant adornment, are charmed spectators, The magnificent frigate bird, adorned in a coat of black, takes to the sky with slender wings and a forked tail. Engineered by nature for a lifetime of soaring the thermal currents. Nesting preferences of these aerial acrobats lean towards small islands, where the dense growth of mangroves provides a safe haven for their offspring. Not just gliders, but opportunists, the frigate birds often engage in kleptoparasitism. This aerial duel for sustenance sees them snatching prey from other birds mid-air. A strategy born out of the vast yet competitive nature of the open sea. Their choice of nesting grounds echoes their love for islands, with places like Hawaii, the Galapagos, Aldabra, and Mauritius offering a nurturing ground for their burgeoning populations. Leaving the frigate birds, we travel into the island's forests, to other enclaves of avian diversity. Here, the rainbow lorikeet emerges as a lively emblem of nature's palette. This vibrant parrot, hailing from Australia's lush expanses, graces the eastern coast, stretching from northern Queensland to the bustling shores of Adelaide, extending its wings across nearby islands like Tasmania and as far as Hong Kong. These sociable birds often grace the skies in pairs, yet occasionally gather into larger flocks. Every pair, united in monogamous bond, diligently guards its feeding and nesting territories against other birds. Their daily venture is a pursuit of sustenance among the blossoms. The diet, primarily nectar and pollen gleaned from shrubs and trees, is supplemented by fruits, seeds and the occasional insect. Their presence often announced by screeching and chattering, a dialect unique to their community. The rhythm of their breeding aligns with the turning seasons. They find nesting sites within the hollows of towering trees, mainly eucalypts, providing a safe haven for their young. These arboreal nests, perched high above the ground, offer a sanctuary from predators. The female lorikeet incubates her delicate white eggs for about 22 to 25 days. As new days dawn, fledglings venture forth, embarking on a nearly two-month journey towards self-sufficiency under the watchful care of their parents. Their strong social bonds are especially evident as young lorikeets grow and learn within the close-knit communities. Their social structure provides vital support during their journey towards self-sufficiency. 
Casting our gaze from the trees to the calm waters adorning the island, we spot vibrant splashes of pink, revealing an unmistakable bird, the greater flamingo, a beacon of elegance. With a stature that towers gracefully, this bird stands as an epitome of balance among its kin. The pinkish-white hue of its feathers offers a striking contrast against the serene blues of the aquatic habitats it frequents, painting a delicate picture of harmony as it wades through gentle waters. The greater flamingo is a seasoned wanderer, its territory spanning across the shores of Africa, India, Sri Lanka and parts of Europe. Their affinity for mudflats and shallow coastal waters leads them on a ceaseless quest for sustenance within the calm waters. Treading softly, their uniquely shaped bills dip beneath the surface, sieving through to catch a medley of plankton, fish and crustaceans. This foraging ritual is more than a pursuit of nourishment. It's a means to maintain their vibrant hue. Community is central to the life of the greater flamingo. They flourish in groups, their synchronized movements creating a spectacle of harmony and coordinated existence. Courtship among them unfolds with a display of elegant choreography leading to a monogamous union. Their nesting journey begins in the seclusion of islands and shores, where amidst reeds and mud they craft modest dwellings for their offspring. On these islands of serenity, the female lays a solitary egg. The duty of incubation is shared, nurturing the hope of a new generation. In about 30 days, a fledgling emerges, its grey attire a prelude to the vibrant pink plumage it will later adorn. The greater flamingo through its harmonious existence and gentle interactions with its surroundings, displays a scene of serene yet enduring life in the island oases. With every gentle flap of their wings, they add a splash of colour to the tableau of these secluded paradises. As we venture forth from the calm waters adorned by the greater flamingos, our expedition leads us to the robust realm of the pelicans. Their enduring presence, marked by sturdy frames, long beaks and unique throat pouches, guide us deeper into the avian world. Pelicans are an intriguing presence among the bird species dwelling in the world's islands and coastal areas. They often form large colonies, with their synchronized flights creating a visual delight. They excel at fishing. Their long beaks and expandable throat pouches enable them to scoop up fish from the water efficiently. Some pelicans also incorporate crustaceans and tadpoles into their diet, depending on their environment. The Dalmatian pelican, one of the largest species, boasts a wingspan of up to 3.6 meters. allowing them to glide effortlessly over ocean surfaces for extensive distances. Among the various species, unique behaviours stand out. 
For instance, the brown pelican is celebrated for its dramatic plunge dives to catch fish. While the cooperative fishing techniques of American white pelicans exhibit a remarkable level of coordination as they work together to herd fish into shallower waters for easier catching. Additionally, the Australian pelican commands attention with its record-holding longest beak among birds. When it comes to nesting, a nurturing side of these birds comes to light. Nests are built on the ground or in trees, and typically two to three eggs are laid. Both parents share the responsibilities of incubation and feeding the young. Once hatched, the young form groups or pods within the larger colony, emphasizing a sense of community from a young age. The social structure of pelicans is a captivating aspect of their existence. Their communal living not only aids in successful foraging, but also plays a crucial role during breeding seasons. During this time, pelicans are known to exhibit a variety of ritualistic behaviours including duelling and formation flying. These behaviours, along with their capability to travel long distances in search of food, demonstrate a blend of endurance, coordination and communal harmony which is vital for their survival in the diverse and sometimes harsh environments they inhabit. As the silhouette of the pelican stands solemn against the warm hues of the setting sun, we bid farewell to the avian species of the island oases. the narrative of life quietly shifts. Amidst the enchanting landscapes of these islands, a remarkable assembly of mammals has discovered their ecological niche. In the heart of Southeast Asia's islands, within the enchanting twilight, the elusive tarsia makes its home. Measuring a mere 9 to 16 centimetres in size, this small primate carries a tail twice the length of its body. As a nocturnal hunter, the tarsia becomes a silent, graceful presence, skillfully navigating the canopy with its keen sense of smell. A rare venomous secret resides in the tarsier's arm, a gland secreting toxin believed to serve as a defensive mechanism, a unique survival strategy among primates. Its diet includes birds, snakes, lizards, bats and arthropods. Marking its unique status, as the sole entirely carnivorous primate. The tarsier's eyes, orbs, larger than its brain, serve as a window into its nocturnal world. Its long ankle bone, a marvel of evolutionary finesse, propels leaps over 40 times its body length. The tarsier's nimble fingers, each endowed with a disc-like pad, granted a masterful grip on branches as it navigates the nocturnal canopy. With each dawn, life renews in the Tarsier community. Unlike many creatures, they are not bound by seasons in their breeding endeavours. The rhythm of year-long breeding resonates softly through the leaves allowing a continuous birth of well-prepared youngsters. 
as they venture into the canopy, the cycle of life dances forward. An echo of survival and adaptability in the heart of the island's forests. Our journey now takes us from the twilight realms of Southeast Asia to the verdant island of Madagascar, a land where evolution has crafted yet another set of enigmatic primates. Here, among the towering baobab trees, we find the lemurs, exclusive residents of the lush island of Madagascar. Their large, expressive eyes, coupled with their distinct primate traits, narrate a tale of nature's creativity in this secluded realm. Amidst the lush foliage and exotic inhabitants of Madagascar, we find the ring-tailed lemurs. Marked by distinctive tails and bewitching eyes, these creatures are key players in sustaining the ecological balance of Madagascar. Living in cohesive groups, typically under female stewardship, ring-tailed lemurs exhibit matriarchal tendencies, a rarity in the primate lineage. with the sun's ascent. They embark on quests for fruits, their favoured fare. Their dietary dexterity grants them a banquet diversified with leaves, flowers, bark, and when necessity beckons, even smaller insects. Their intricate discourse through scent markings and vocalizations unveils the profound communal ties they share. In the same leafy theatre, the black and white ruffed lemur plays a contrasting yet equally enchanting role. Their conspicuous black and white fur and enlarged stature add nuanced chapters to the Lima Chronicle. Performing vocal orchestrations at dawn and dusk, they mark the island's rhythm of life. These species harbor a more refined palate. Their sustenance revolves around fruits, nectar, and seeds. Intriguingly, their arboreal ballet from one canopy to the next aids in flower pollination, with pollen clinging to their fur only to be bestowed upon the blossoms of the subsequent tree. The red ruffed lemur, with its striking crimson fur, navigates the higher canopy. their fruit-centric diet playing a pivotal role in seed dispersal. Lemurs have evolved to possess a keen sense of smell, with a highly developed vomeronosal organ, aiding them in social communication and survival Transitioning from the lush, secluded forests of Madagascar, where the lively lemurs leap among the trees, we journey to the dense rainforests of northeastern Borneo. Here, 
amidst a contrasting yet equally captivating ecosystem, resides another unique island dweller, the Borneo pygmy elephant. The smallest subspecies of Asian elephant, these gentle giants stand at an average height of 2.5 meters, a noticeable difference from other subspecies. Their distinctive morphological features like larger ears, longer tails, and straighter backs highlight the remarkable diversity that isolated evolution fosters within a species. These pygmy elephants traverse the vast expanses of the Saba forest, maintaining an extensive network of trails. Their habitual migration not only facilitates communication routes for various species, but also aids in seed dispersal, significantly contributing to the forest's biodiversity. Unlike their aggressive counterparts, Borneo pygmy elephants are known for their agreeable disposition. As highly social animals, they display affectionate behaviours and form strong familial bonds, which are crucial for the young calves who rely on adult elephants for protection and guidance. With a lifespan ranging from 60 to 75 years, these elephants play a pivotal role in their habitat. However, the escalating threats from habitat loss due to deforestation and human conflict have led to their classification as endangered. As we delve deeper into the heart of Borneo, we transition from the gentle trodden paths of the pygmy elephants to the high-flying acrobatics of the island's endangered orangutans. The Borneo orangutan is a notable inhabitant of the island's rainforests. Known for their intelligence, these apes spend most of their lives in the treetops, using their elongated arms to navigate the canopy. Their diet mainly consists of fruits, leaves and insects. The social structure of Borneo orangutans contrasts with the communal nature of many other primates. They are semi-solitary, with males and females typically meeting only to mate. Females exhibit strong maternal care, guiding their offspring on foraging and navigating the canopy for many years. Borneo orangutans have physical adaptations suited for an arboreal lifestyle, with an arm span reaching up to seven feet, aiding in brachiation. Their strong hook-shaped hands and feet, along with opposable thumbs and big toes, facilitate efficient gripping. Known for their problem-solving ability, they have been observed using tools, like sticks for extracting insects or leaves as makeshift umbrellas. Their reproductive rate is slow, with females birthing a single offspring every six to eight years, contributing to the challenge of population recovery. Observing the Borneo orangutans, it's clear that their survival is closely tied to the health and preservation of their forest home. However, deforestation and habitat fragmentation, often due to illegal logging and palm oil plantations, pose serious threats.
as we watch the expressive faces of the Borneo orangutan, the reality of their status as critically endangered species due to habitat loss and human activities casts a profound urgency on the need for conservation measures to ensure their survival and preservation. As we venture further into the diverse tapestry of island ecosystems, we transition from the lofty canopies inhabited by primates to the grounded realms of reptiles and amphibians. These creatures, often overlooked, play pivotal roles in maintaining the ecological balance of their habitat. On islands, the story of reptiles and amphibians takes a fascinating turn. The isolation from mainland breeds a cradle of evolution, giving rise to species found nowhere else on Earth. In the remote wilderness of Indonesia's lesser Sunda Islands thrives a creature of notable repute the Komodo dragon. Amidst the dense foliage, the largest living lizard on Earth makes its way through the underbrush. With a length extending up to three meters and a weight of up to 70 kilograms, this formidable lizard is a dominant predator in its homeland. Survival here hinges on stealth, strength, and a venomous bite. The Komodo dragon, with its robust limbs and agile neck, is well adapted to this harsh reality. Its large, rough scales blend seamlessly with the rugged terrain, demonstrating nature's finesse in camouflage. The dragon's keen eyes scan the horizon for movement. Its long, forked tongue flicks the air, tasting the scent of potential prey from miles away. Despite the harsh predator-prey dynamics, Komodo dragons exhibit social behaviors. They gather at communal feeding sites, displaying a structure of social hierarchy. Komodo dragons are apex predators with an exceptional ability to bring down prey much larger than themselves, including deer and water buffalo. Their mouth hosts a lethal concoction of bacteria, making their bite extremely infectious to prey, and their venom further hampers the prey's ability to escape by inducing shock. These reptiles have a robust immune system which shields them from infections from their own bite. Their hunting strategy often involves a stealthy approach followed by a sudden ambush, delivering a venomous bite, then trailing the prey until it succumbs. Komodo dragons are capable swimmers. They have been known to travel between islands in the Indonesian archipelago. Reproduction in Komodo dragons is also intriguing. While they typically reproduce sexually, females have the ability to reproduce asexually through a process known as parthenogenesis. Leaving the rugged terrain of Indonesia, 
Our voyage sails us across the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean to the serene shores of Aldabra Atoll. Here, in this untouched refuge, the gentle giants of the tortoise realm, the Aldabra giant tortoises, command the landscape with their slow, steady grace. Upon first glimpse, the colossal dome-shaped shells of the Aldabra giant tortoises evoke awe, akin to moving boulders ambling along the sunlit trails. The males, distinguished by their larger size and longer tails, often tip the scales at a staggering 250 kilograms, displaying a more dome shell compared to the female's flatter carapace. These gentle behemoths are the sentinels of Aldabra, their ancestral haven, where they meander through mangrove swamps, grasslands and coastal dunes. Their habitat, a living canvas of tortoise turf, is a peculiar blend of over 20 species of grasses and herbs, evolved under the consistent grazing pressures of these leafy connoisseurs. Much like the elephants, their quest for food leads to trampled trees. The isle's scarcity of fresh water has shaped their diet, drawing most of their moisture from the foliage, with occasional indulgence in invertebrates or carrion when available. In the tranquil mornings, they gather in congenial herds on the open grasslands, grazing and browsing in a scene of peaceful coexistence. Their impressive longevity, with some individuals living over 150 years, speaks volumes about their resilience. Their slow metabolism aids in this long lifespan, allowing them to survive without food or water for up to a year. Mating is a notable event. Males announce their intent with loud bellowing roars, vying for the attention of females. Through the ages, they've become synonymous with the identity of the islands they inhabit, a living emblem of the natural heritage of Aldabra Atoll and its surrounding isles. As we bid adieu to the serene shores of Aldabra and its gentle behemoths, our voyage steers us back to the wild expanses of Madagascar. Returning to this land of endemic marvels, we delve into a realm where colour dictates identity. Amidst the lush greenery, the master of disguise, the panther chameleon awaits us. Here, this elusive artist of disguise thrives. Its skin a canvas, ever changing in a dance of colors that mirror its emotions and the rhythm of the wild. With cautious steps on slender branches, the chameleon's zygodactylous feet grip with an assurance honed through ages. Its eyes, moving independently, scan the surroundings with astute vigilance. The world it sees is a kaleidoscope, yet its focus is laser sharp. The panther chameleon is not just a solitary wanderer, but a vibrant communicator. Its skin, a fluid palette, shifts with its emotions and interactions. The males, 
a spectacle of nature's artistry, flaunt a riot of colours. This capability is primarily facilitated by specialised cells called chromatophores located in their skin. These cells contain pigments and reflect light in ways that produce various colours. The three layers of chromatophores xanthophores, iridophores and melanophores work together to create the vibrant and varied colour displays that these chameleons are known for. Their method of hunting is a common trait among chameleons, with a stunning blend of patience and precision and deliberate slow movements they inch closer to their prey each step a calculated endeavour to remain unseen until the opportune moment arises. Their long projectile tongue, a marvel of nature's design, can extend with lightning speed, securing a meal in the blink of an eye, a technique shared with all their chameleon kin. As the night envelops Madagascar, the panther chameleon remains a master of adaptation. Its colours shifting in sync with the rhythm of the wild, a silent yet vibrant tale of survival. As our exploration through the island oasis concludes, we stumble upon another marvel of nature, the plumeria. Known for its vibrant blossoms and sweet, intoxicating fragrance, it adorns the landscapes of many tropical regions. With its lush petals of pink, red, yellow and white, it's more than just a visual feast. Its fragrant blossoms carry the essence of the tropics, a sweet scent that lingers in the balmy air. Traditionally used in lace in Hawaii, these flowers are a symbol of warmth and welcome. As we admire the simple beauty of the plumeria, our journey transitions from the island oases to the dense and vibrant tropical rainforests, where a similar warm and humid climate nurtures an astonishing diversity of life. Join us next time as we delve into the heart of the tropical rainforests exploring the rich biodiversity and uncovering the intricate relationships among the flora and fauna that call these lush habitats home. Until then, may the whispers of nature continue to enthrall your senses and inspire curiosity for the endless marvels our world holds. <laughs>